Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition, The Right Way. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had made it about halfway through the first floor of Mount Moon and come down the ladder that we found, only to run into this guy in a hat. Yeah. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not... Oh, what's the matter with her today? No, no, no. I think it's one of those ladies' things. No, not at all. So, um, hi, guy in a hat. Pokemon gangsters? Um, like, what, you hold your Pokeball sideways? Wow. Okay, so this is Team Rocket. And Team Rocket has got <laughs> absolutely nothing for us. Now, I've actually taken the opportunity to go back and heal everybody up, and I've also switched the party around, but... Let's just jump right into Sandshrew and watch Sandshrew rip this poor, well, excuse me, watch Mankey rip this poor little Sandshrew apart. If, of course, he can actually hit. Let's hope it works. So, with one kick, that actually does do pretty well. Now, unfortunately, um, Mankey is getting hit with Sand Attack, and that is going to cause his accuracy to fail. So, we could switch into another Pokemon, or, in this case, just leave it in. We're going to be switching out now anyway, so that's fine. Um, is going to use a Ratata. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I am. I think I'm going to switch back into Butterfree, and then I'm going to switch into the other Mankey. So, Butterfree is in there, and here comes that other Mankey. So, now, a level 12 Mankey against a level 11 Ratata, I have a strong feeling that fighting types are going to work really well against normal types. And will you look at that? Wow, man. I never knew. Okay. Rocket is about to use Zubat. Um, yeah, I'm going to change. But this time, I'm just going to straight change into Pikachu. Now, this... Level 11 Zubat is not going to be an easy fight. If Thundershock misses or doesn't wipe it out completely, we can expect to get hit with Supersonic. Fortunately, we didn't. And, you know, I will definitely take the three points of missed H HP as opposed to something so serious it causes us to hurt ourselves. So, now Pikachu has grown to level 12. Absolutely wonderful. And now that magic number is down to 22. Hey, perfect. And we have defeated Rocket. Yeah, man, you blew it. Um, that is a really messed up outfit you've got. You know what? Well, they may, but I'm sure they'll just lie down for it, because uh, you're not that tough. Okay, now up here... Exactly what I was worried about with a uh, higher level Zubat happened. Pikachu became confused and hurt itself. So another potion has been mo uh, used, and that magic number has dropped down one. And there we go with an HP up. Perfect. But, um, hey. And unfortunately, just... Like last time, one high-level Zubat and one more potion used, so I think the magic number is down to 20 now. Man, that's great. Absolutely great. So, now that we've finished the third floor, because the, really there is nothing on the second floor, but we finished the first part of the third floor for Mount Moon. Okay, so let's go back down into this next area. And we can also start talking about... Hey, who are you? Okay, not a worry. Well, now here is another member of Team Rocket. Hey, that's fine. Pulling a big job here. Um, okay, it looks to me like you're just standing there, but okay. Well, now this Team Rocket member has got... Nothing I'm worried about at all. So he's going to send out a level 12 Zubat. That is going to be tough, but I'm going to try and hit it with Confusion first. Then I'm going to get Butterfree out of there as quickly as I possibly can. I'm actually kind of worried about the... 
No, you know what? I don't think I'm going to. My initial plan was that I was actually going to use Pikachu to use Thundershock. But um, since Supersonic didn't happen, there's no point in moving Butterfree out. So, hey, great. Ekans. Hey, I have no worries about that at all. I am definitely going to switch in, and I am going to bring in Pidgeotto. So, a level 12 Ekans against a level 12 Pidgeotto, I think that I should actually have a better shot here. My speed should be faster. Um, Poison Sting, like I've said before, is not really going to be as effective against birds. So, I think uh, either Pidgey or Pidgeotto is probably my best shot. And um, I'd kind of like uh, Pidgeotto's level raised a bit more. So, with that, we defeat Rocket. Wonderful. Um, yeah, well, it isn't that I'm so good, it's just you're really bad. Oh, okay, so if I find a fossil, I'll give it to you. How about if I find anything else? Because, um, yeah, there's TM01. And now TM01 is just Mega Punch. Well, you know, Mega Punch is actually very good. I haven't quite decided whether I want to get rid of it or not. And there is an Ether in that, or Ether, whichever, in that little rock all by itself. But, you know, that's... we're done that area, too. Great. Okay, so back to what I was saying, though. Um, in 1996, when this game actually came out... Oh, wow. Okay, well, we'll get back to that. I did, as a matter of fact, but, you know, you know, I'm just saying, you shouldn't hide around corners. Suspicious men hide behind... hide around corners. Yeah. Okay, so this youngster wants to fight, and he has got some pretty good stuff for us. He has got a level 10 Ratata. Okay, tell you what, how about if I bring in a level 13 Mankey? Because as we found out, my fighting type now works really, really well against, um, normal types. So, yeah, just like that, Ratata is down. Perfect. And so Butterfree gained some experience. This youngster is a, about to use another Ratata. I have no intent of changing at all, so I'm just going to low kick one more time, and one more level 10 Ratata is down. Okay, that seems perfectly fine with me. And now Mankey is level 4, which is exactly what I wanted. He is about to use Zubat. Yes, I am going to change, and I am going to bring in Pikachu. So, out comes Zubat, which does have the possibility of Supersonic. If something goes wrong, Pikachu could be injured. Let's hope that's not the case. Okay, so three points from Leech Life, if that's what it's going to do. Yep, three points. Perfect. So, one more Thundershock if it hits. Zubat is down, and this youngster is gone as well. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Great, man. Yeah, losing does stink. Um, you know, you should really stop hanging out around corners. Off to go- oh, really? Because there is a girl standing by the sign right at the front of this place. You should probably go hang out with her. And on the way, take the other girl out of here. Because I think she's lost. Or at least a little scared. Anyway. Now, in 1996, Pokemon Red- oh, excuse me, Pocket Monsters Red and Pocket Monsters Green came out. And, and what's this, first off? A Moonstone? Oh, we are definitely going to use that, and we're going to use it quickly. Well, when Pocket Monsters Red and Pocket Monsters Green came out, we already know that it was a six-year process to put these games together. But what we don't know is at the same time this game was being developed, Nintendo was also in development for another game called Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinestrals. And part of that game actually had something that I can assume Pokemon is based on. See, Lufia 2 introduced something called Capsule Monsters. Now, in all of that, the only real question that gets raised is how much were each individual tertiary company 
involved with each other for the development of their own games. And before we get back to that, let's talk to this hiker. Um, yeah. And so now this hiker has got nothing that we haven't seen already. So let's just take them all out. Now in that last random battle, um, Butterfree has gained a level and has learned Poison Powder. Well, Poison Powder is not going to help here at all, but I have um, erased Butterfree's Harden and turned what was Harden into a uh, Poison Powder. My plan in all of this is to actually turn Butterfree into a Pokemon that will uh, cause, induce, excuse me, uh, status ailments, which I think is great. So by the end of this, what it actually like is confusion and three different attacks that induce either sleep or stun or paralyze, something along those lines. And so no, I'm going to leave Butterfree in here, Onyx is going to come out, and I am going to see how well confusion is going to do against Onyx. And you know, hey, looks like it works really well so far. So with one more confusion, will it be enough to take? Yes, it will. Great! And so Butterfree is now level 14, absolutely perfect, and trying to learn Stun Spore. Can't learn more than that's okay, we will definitely do that. So yes I will, and String Shot is gone. Now I realize that String Shot will actually cause um, speed to go down, but I think Stun Spore, all in all, is probably a better shot. So we have defeated Hiker, and, wow, shocked again. Yeah, man, that's okay. You okay? Shouldn't be, where should we be? Because, you know, we defeat you. Ah, well, either way. And now we know that there is some kind of a connection between um, Lufia 2 and Pokemon or Pocket Monsters Red and Green. So, well, let's continue on with where we're going, actually. Wow, man. Hey, this could not have happened better. Um, what is Paris? Paris, the mushroom Pokemon. Rare mushrooms grow on its back. Paris is a bug and grass type that evolves into Parasect at level 21. At level 1, it learns Scratch. At 13, it learns Stun Spore. At 20, it learns Leech Life. And at 27, it learns Spore. Now, granted, Paris actually learns interesting moves like Stun Spore and Spore but it really doesn't have anything good offensively. It can learn a handful of TMs, including good ones for it, like Mega Drain and Solar Beam. It has a defensive disadvantage against Fire, Ice, Poison, Flying, Rock, and Bug. As a Bug type, it has an offensive advantage against Grass, Poison, and Psychic. And as a Grass type, it has an offensive advantage to Water, Ground, and Rock. Paris's name came from the word Parasite, which is kind of what those mushrooms on its back actually are, and Nintendo had originally planned on naming it Parasite. Okay, so perfect. Let us see if we can actually tackle it and just weaken it down. Um, as you can see, I've gone back and healed everybody up in the party, which, hey, man, we definitely needed to do that. Let's see if one more scratch, or excuse me, one more tackle, can weaken this down just enough to catch it. We should be able to do that, so let us try and hit it with a Pokeball. Oh, I hope this works. Two and... Th oh, no! Oh, that was so close. Okay, well, unfortunately, um, do we have any... Well, you know, I'm gonna try it. Poison Powder, I don't think... Oh, hey, it'll work. Perfect. Okay, so just like that, it's going to be hurt by Poison. Not a lot, but it should be just enough for us to throw out another Pokeball and maybe even catch it. Hopefully it will, and just perfect. Great! Okay, so we've wasted one Pokeball. That's not bad. We now have... Paris. Yeah. But, okay. No, I don't want to give a nickname to Paris, and it is transferred. That's fine. Okay, so now let us continue right over here, and... Oh, wow. Well, this is where I'm going to stop for the episode. This has been Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition the right way. 
Thanks for watching. Till next time.